Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate Forcepoint's AP Data Discovery technology. With data discovery we are talking about finding data in places where perhaps it should not be. This data is most likely going to be information that is sensitive or critical to your organization or the customers that you support. With data discovery we can identify sensitive data or data in general um, on the client's laptop, your local on-premise file shares, exchange servers, SharePoint, um, as well as out in the cloud such as Box, Exchange Online, or SharePoint Online. For this specific demonstration I will be focusing in on data discovery against my SharePoint Online site. I will be performing two tasks. The first will be a simple data discovery and the second will be data discovery with remediation. So with remediation we are performing some automated action upon that data. In this case, I will be identifying the information, removing the information, leaving a tombstone marker, and then putting that information back onto my local on-premise file share. What you're looking at now is the AP Data Dashboard. And what you also may notice is that all of our products fully integrate. Web data, email, as well as mobile. So one console for all of our products. I've also went ahead and cleared out all of my previous discovery incidents. That way there's no question about the integrity of this of this process. And actually this showed up again. Let me go ahead and delete these. So now it's completely clear. I'll go back to the dashboard so there's no discovery incidents here. I'll go back down to the incidents one more time. Completely clear. And now I'm going to go ahead and get into the discovery tasks. I have multiple discovery tasks here, but again I will be focusing in on SharePoint Online. I'm going to go ahead and walk through the tasks and build out. Basically you name the task. You select the crawler to perform the discovery. So the crawler is the, the component that actually performs the remote scanning of data. Um, and this can be, this is typically installed on a Windows server and you can have multiple crawlers in your environment really depends on how much data you want to scan and how often. I've chosen the location of the data which will be online, specified the information of my SharePoint site, I've chosen the directory to scan specifically which is going to be the documents folder, I've chosen that I'm going to do this task once however you can automate this to do daily, weekly, or continuous here is where you can select the policies or the type of content you're trying to find. For this particular task, I'm doing a custom policy that will be looking for a fingerprint or actually a document fingerprint um, that I took previously. And this document is actually the 9-11 Commission Report, so it's a pretty beefy document. So I took a fingerprint of that document and this scan is not only going to be looking for the exact file, but it's also going to be looking for any files that have content similarity. And jumping over to my SharePoint site, I'll just show you that I have I have two items here that this task will target. One of course is going to be the, the full report, and the second is going to be a snippet of that report in the form of an image file. So with data discovery, you can leverage our OCR or optical character recognition technology to extract text from images as well as scan PDFs. And the OCR can be leveraged for both data at rest as well as data in motion. So that is a look of the snippet um, of the text extracted from the 9-11 Commission report. If you're familiar with that report, it, it's a very substantial document um, and this would probably comprise about two or three pages tops. And then of course I have the full report here. So that's what is encompassed under this particular policy. It's a fingerprint on the 9-11 Commission report. File filtering is if you want to um, get a little more granular um, as far as what type of files you're targeting, the age of the file as well as the size. And then advanced you can implement some bandwidth throttling and then set this, this full scan schedule. So by default the scan schedule will be differential. The first will be a full scan and then any follow-ons will be differential. So now that the task is built, I'm going to go ahead and click Start. This task could take less than 10 seconds given how much, how small um, the file sizes are. So obviously we're already at 99% and that was about 3 seconds. Click Refresh one more time and it should just about be done. 
Okay, so now it says, now that it's completed, I'm going to go up to the reporting section, select discovery, and then incidents. And you'll notice that it reported on two of the files that I, sh I showed earlier. So the 911 report.pdf and the report snip.png. Both files were scanned and both files alerted or triggered on the particular policy I had in place. So as I mentioned with fingerprinting, we're looking not only at um, the, the entire file itself, but any content similarity. So that way, if a, if a clever client or user thinks they can you know, slowly send out snippets of a, of a, a sensitive report, um, it's not going to happen. We'll catch it. So as you can see on the left side here, 100% similarity, obviously, since that's the entire report. With the image file that was a snippet, um, it, it reported back 90% similarity, and that was just for the two, three pages that that image encompassed. So, very, very good precision relative to the fingerprinting and then identifying content similarity. On the right side in the properties, just gives you some information around where the data was found, the file size, all the information relative to that particular file that would enable you um, to perform some manual investigation after the fact. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into the data discovery scan with, rem with remediation. So with this particular task, I will be leveraging a different policy set. Um, and again, it's going to be a custom policy. There's actually two policies. One is going to be looking for a dirty word or a sensitive word, which I've um, created and called Hercules Dynamite. And then the second is looking for classification markings. And before I get into the actual scan and remediation, I'll go ahead and show you the, the test files. The first is this dirty word image that contains a, a lot of text. Um, within this text, I've placed the keyword Hercules Dynamite um, that sh will trigger the, the dirty word policy. And again, I want to point out that this is an image file. It's not a document. So again, this is the OCR capability coming into play here. And then the test document, very basic document just contains some random classification markings. Now with these policies, um, they these are set to perform remediation as well. So obviously with the discovery I'm going to report back my findings but I'm also going to have the data automatically removed and then moved to a, a secure share. I'm going to go ahead and click start on this task should take less than 10 seconds to complete. Yeah, it's already at 99%. One more time should be complete. Still running and should be complete now. Okay, the task has completed. I'll go up to discovery, reporting incidents. You know, notice that the two remaining documents that were targeted for this scan have been reported back. First was the image file and the second was the document. It accurately pinpointed the Hercules Dynamite and Dirty Word key phrase and then here it accurately reported on the markings for discovery uh, policy. So those classification markings. It identified two of the talent keyholes and then one each of the Orcon and Oforn. So if I go back to my SharePoint site now and do a refresh, you're going to notice that the file names have been modified. They both now have file removed at the end of the file name. This indicates that the remediation was successful. So as a client, if I were to go back to this SharePoint site and attempt to open or download the file, I would be greeted with an alert that stated the content of this file um, was in breach of corporate policy and has been quarantined and then to contact the appropriate person to find out how to get it back or where to find it. So the files have been removed but where did they go? So as a part of my remediation script I specified for the files to be placed on my repository here um, on my local Windows server and as you can see the dirty word image is located here now I'm um, not sure why the document didn't make it in, um, but it, sh it could be something that just arrives a little bit later. Um, but as you can see, the, the image was removed and then placed in this repository. So that is SharePoint Discovery. 
Um, and again, this is specific to SharePoint and is also applicable to any other targeted system, whether it's a client PC, um, Exchange Online, or PST files, we can perform data discovery and then also leverage the OCR capability. For more information around our discovery capabilities and specifically SharePoint Online Remediation, click on the links located in this video. Thank you.